Hi guys, it's Waxy Whispers. It's been a bit. I apologize for being gone so long. I don't really have a good excuse, but I'm so happy to be back. Today I'm going to be going through one of three bakery drawers, primarily of vendor wax. I think this is going to be a three-part video because I have three drawers and there's quite a bit to go through. I just realized I did not grab a basket, but I do have a organizer right there, so I'll put my, my pics for this video will go right there. So I'm just going to be going through picking some things that I'd like to melt this week and just have a little chit chat with you guys. So today this video is going to be soft spoken. Please let me know what you think. If you'd prefer whisper only, I can do those too. If you'd like a mix, I can do that. I just hope that this is interesting and relaxing. So I've been really enjoying fall and I've been using up quite a bit of my fall bakery blends from 2020 and 2021. I do have some 2022, 2023 that I would like to warm this week as well, but I'd really like to try and use up some of my older wax. I really hope this isn't too, too loud. There's a lot of crinkles happening. So I see one right off the bat that I know I need to pick. This is rocking around the question block from Rose Girls. It's Pear Strudzel Kuchen. Almond biscotti, toffee butterscotch pretzels, and vanilla bean ice cream. This one smells really nice. I really like the pear in here. So we are going to set that to the side. Oh, I think we need to do this one also. Starlit Corner Funfetti Cookies. It's Danish Butter Cookies, Sugar Cookies, Birthday Cake, and Pralines. I want to say this is from 2020. It might even be from 2019. So, I think that would be really nice to blend with other things as well. It's been in the high 40s, low 50s, so I've got my, my sweater on. I might also talk to myself, I apologize. I have really been enjoying pumpkin pecan waffle blends. This one is strawberry pound cake toasted mallow pumpkin pecan waffles. So I think I'm going to set that to the side. just love this cherry almond pie from Cincy. I'm not going to pull this one, but I do recommend it if you haven't smelled that one. I warmed this the other day. This is banana nut bread marshmallow fireside from that smell good shop. That needs to go in my Bella Scout. This one. So 
and the coffee blend. I have recently organized my wax by category rather than vendor, and I have to tell you, I've been enjoying pulling my wax are going through my wax stash so much more because I find that I'm more aware of the scent category that I want to warm than worried about the vendor. So I've been really enjoying it. And if I have a, you know, a moment of not knowing what I want to warm, then I just do like a random name wheel and I just put in the different categories so like bakery clean, fruity and I let it pick for me so this is Rose Girl Scoopa's Christmas Carols Soft Pine Sugar Cookies Snow Powder Mint Campfire Marshmallow this is a really nice blend I'm gonna wait on that This is a swanky buttery toast and jam pumpkin pecan waffle Noel. So I'm gonna put that over there. Toasted pumpkin spice. I believe I have a few of these. This one's really nice. I think I will. Marshmallow bunnies, sweet creamy marshmallow cream, marshmallow fluff rice crispy treats, and sugar crystals. I don't know. I feel like this one is old. Older. Yeah, I should probably use that up. It's so hard to. Do you guys have the dilemma where you want to warm all of the new stuff? <laughs> or is that just me? We need to do this one. I want to say that this was gifted to me from Angela, but I can't. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank, but I want to say that she sent this to me. Um, L3 coffee bean, brown sugar, cheesecake, and sugar cookies. I am going to warm that. of Missoula, Mall Fireside, Tonka Bean. I'm gonna hold off on that. That one's fairly recent. All my Christmas movies and chill. Pistachio, marshmallow fluff. Vanilla Crunch Donuts and Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. I think that needs to happen. It's probably more of a Christmas scent, but I'll do it. So I started warming the cookie crack. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I do not get good performance from L3's clams. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I do know that I've tried several now, and I'm having the same issue with, with all the clams. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, I love L3 in general. So. Now I know not to do the clams. Oh, I got several of these. This is no way for fresh strawberry sugar whipped cream waffle cone. These are fairly recent. I think I'll hold off on those. Cream cheese icing. I wish that she had poured a or if this was from last year or the year before. 
might be a good blender. favorite Camel 3 Cafe C Spice Oat Milk. See if... I'm sure that was really, really calm and relaxing. sugar cookie oil. This is a favorite of mine. I did just go through another bag of this. I think I'll hold off on that for this week. Here's another, another one. Now I do love beach nights. That one's looking a little funky. Muffin, raspberry cream cupcakes, and blueberry zucchini bread. Sweet cream. I think I'm gonna do the blueberry. Oops. We're getting kind of full over here. I love these. something and not be able to get it. She is gonna be missed, that's for sure. Doing great donuts, marshmallow, zucchini bread, that sounds really good. Okay, so we'll do this one. This is VCS Purple Haze. with this blend a year ago. Pumpkin pecan waffles, salty sea air. <laughs> and I apologize if you can hear my stomach. I I can't remember if it was a friend or just someone in the group <laughs> that had commented that they purchased it because it sounded so weird but they thought that it had potential. <laughs> And I totally get it. It's such a strange combination, but if you haven't tried it and you like those scents, I recommend trying it. Butter, Alchemist Butter Brickle.
Kiss, Rose Girls, Blockbuster, and Chill. And it's pistachio, cherry cupcakes, and almond cookies. And I think I'm gonna put that one up there too. Fun fact. <laughs> I live in Bend, Oregon, and we have the last Blockbuster in the United States. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. I think I'm going to hold off on this until probably next month or the month after. Strawberry cheesecake ice cream. That does sound nice. This one's fairly recent, so I'm gonna wait. Oh, this needs to happen. Case apple cider. decided that it's going to make all the noises right now. Ooh, this one sounds good. This is Starlit Corner Coffee Cat. It's Danish butter cookies, vanilla buttercream crunch. Caramel drizzle, cider lane, and French vanilla coffee. That's a, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a really cute little, almost looks like a haunted house. Is brown sugar pound cake and you like bakery. That one's really yummy. Oh, yeah. This is Jim Daughter Crafts. This is London's Donut. Blend of Mac Apple Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. This vendor, in my opinion, is like top five and so underrated. Michelle, the owner, is such a very genuine and just very kind person. And I enjoy making customs with her, but I really just enjoy our conversations. <laughs> so if you haven't tried Jim's Daughter Crafts, I think you should go check her out. Oh, I have another. Did I not put that over there? Oh no, I just had it in a different shape. There's another purple haze. Pumpkin, pecan, waffles, and birthday cake. that the label looks really old, but it's just kind of faint. Um, this one I got not too long ago. It's the Burrow and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This one smells so, so good. It has like an extra cinnamon um, spice with that waffle. Same with this one. This one's pumpkin chunkin, which is pumpkin pecan waffles. 
toasted coffee and Rice Krispie treats. I apologize for the beeping in the background. That's my husband's blood sugar monitor going off. Very weak. this content was worthy of putting on the internet. I will see you guys in the next